What is up everybody? We are back working on my 2015 Toyota Tundra. Today we're going to be installing a rough country cold air intake. So I ran an intake on my Silverado. It sounded absolutely killer and I really want to see what it sounds like on a Toyota Tundra. So I'm not going to bore you too much with the install of these. It's very, very easy uh, and there's a handful of install videos out there. I also know I'm not too concerned uh, with horsepower gains, mile per gallon gains, and I know that these aren't the world's best. So that's to preface all of the haters of cold air intakes on trucks. I'm really just concerned with how it sounds. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly what we got. We'll toss it in the truck, we'll hit the road, and we'll see exactly what it sounds like before and after. And here is everything that you get in your intake kit. Starting from left to right, you have a heat shield, some gasketing, hose, hose clamps, your air filter itself, which actually looks pretty nice, some accessories, intake pipe, and some hoses right there for the transitions. Now, I will say, this being not a premium brand, one of the cheaper intakes on the market, you get metal intake pipes, as you can see right there. You also get a much cheaper uh, heat shield, so I'm not really a fan of these two. I typically like to see a dedicated intake box plastic hose pipes, so at least you're trying to get cold air into the motor. But nevertheless, it is a fraction of the price and we're gonna run with it. And then here, they have some very detailed instructions. I was reading through these, that's the reason I'm not gonna do a detailed install. This is basically everything that you need to know. It's almost overkill. So nevertheless, let's toss in the truck and get it out on the road. Quick look before we take it out. So there she is. I think it looks really, really nice in the engine bay. Probably took 45 minutes to install. It wasn't bad whatsoever. You got the mass airflow there, air hoses there, connects to the throttle body over under the engine cover. And then here is the heat shield. My only advice is I would say, leave uh, your connections or your brackets that are down low loose. Um, they are all slotted connections, so they have some adjustments. Get everything installed. Tighten those things down and then it will be super, super secure. Only thing that I wasn't able to install is one bracket right there. I didn't know where the bolt lined up to, uh, but again, no issues whatsoever. So let's go take it out for a rip. <laughs> 